this matchup going on. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game number three in this NSL season one week two matchup between V Water, my friends, and Vitos with the one one score currently tied up here. Playing on the map, Anis to Vale with me co casting is Gohan Setter. Hey, hey. So it looks like Bewater water my friend dropping a super fast hive. Well with pipeline you only have those two options. Um assist up to C12 and drop the hive or drop the hive and then Pipeline doesn't have so many valid options on this map actually. On sub or double you could uh, sub or cargo you could assist up to double. Yeah, pipeline is as of now considered as one of the weakest hives. Yeah, and the funny thing, it was the same in NS1. Pipeline Hive was always the weakest in this map, and it did not get changed, so Pwn let it, did let it as it was. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So and we see, yeah, it looks like Marines really want double res. Yeah, they're oh. sending four Marines straight to system. Oh, they're going cargo. Wow. Straight push. But we see Aliens already reacting, and some nice scans ahead. Yep. But we do have... Oh, Sheems, don't go down there! The watch is crucial right now. Oh, this is the best corner here to engage. You don't want to have... Are oh, they not all engaging together? Look at that. Whoa! Oh... oh and now the Marines enter the open area, which is much, much better for them. Wow, Vito is taking... A nice lead here. Actually, all four Marines still alive. Except for Ray, he's jumping in as the lone Chuck Norris skull, just killing one of the Marines. And here comes the backup. They need to clear out those Marines. Otherwise, it looks really grim for aliens. Oh, really unfortunate. This looks so bad for B-Water. Look at that. All aliens are dead. Mar still three marines in there. They cannot really base push right now since there's two spawners. Well, one is going to cargo, but one is in C12 just camping this whole way. Okay, I, and I think aliens really need to hold part of it at this point. Yeah. As I don't think they could pull off a base rush. No, it's way too late as well. I have an ops in base. Yeah. Well, they could save the hive of forcing a beacon, but it's pretty and risky and takes so long to go there. We get Sadisti in pipeline now. Trying to add love those well, never mind, just get killed by you. Oh finally getting some kills up, two more rains left. But the hive's already pretty low, twenty percent and dropping. But it finally went up and we already see wow. Oh five percent? Two? One! Wow. And the last bullets. Pumpo does kill the hive. This is such a drawback. Such such yeah, I think a they, big blow. They should cancel leap now. And yeah. Just redrop cargo hive. That's a good point, yeah. Leap will not help them at all. It's just twenty five res down the drain which will not help them without the second hive active. And they they are spending some res, so they yeah, here we go. They're assisting into C twelve. And we see a are they going for a base rush? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They're skipping top or they, they need to do the some damage, but there's already one Marine in here. They do have the ops to beacon and do have the resources to beacon. But there's also Marines coming back. So wow. I don't think they even have to. And nice positioning from the Marines there. Only one Marine was in range to be bitten, and the other ones were covering him perfectly. So, yeah, so much for base rush. Yeah, and we got fast face tag. It's up. One guy in double. They're, the only thing for Marines is they didn't really cap too much. They have four extractors, but they did not cap Overlook and Subsector. And double, uh, just starting with that. I think <laughs> they're fine now that they got, now they got face tech and now got to cap double. I was actually wondering if he drops a face gate before the extractors, but he's trying to play a little bit more solid, getting more excited, a little bit more greedy, you could call it. But there's many, many Marines close. So this might be a close fight. Yeah, I, th I think he should have finished uh, the, the power node before building the two extractors. As this could actually 
delay the, the face gate from going up and being online for quite some time now. Well, we got two marines in there. And yeah, here we go. They're now building the power. And yeah, and was, wow. Wow, look, I love that by SDSTI. He's a, he is a gold scout. Look at that. He saw all four aliens going there. He, they know wow. exactly what's up. They have time to build a face gate and then beacon. Or he's build a face gate and then yeah. And he's. Oh, too bad. He just jumped right into two aliens. Uh, but they know what exactly what's up. Look at that. They sent Humsi already to the front to catch them. They're just going back to base. There is a face gate in base, so they're completely fine. The guys in double can face back. Yeah. And they should do right now. And we already see. One alien dying off there. One is reinforcing, but I don't see this uh, dealing any no, it will any not. real damage. Even if they kill all the marines and force out a beacon, the marines they still can just face back to double. They're completely fine. They did not lose any position. Yeah, and they just lost the gorge with this push. Yeah, this is not looking good for aliens at the <laughs> moment. <laughs> no, really not really. Second hive. Yeah, that one push from the start. That was a bold move actually to send four marines straight up to cargo because at that point a base rush would be much more effective. Yeah, but they already had the ops uh, the observation uh, the observatory up, no. sorry. Damn it. Well even if they beaconed, <laughs> cargo would be safe by that. Yeah, that that's right. And aliens lose the time and you know if you do that two times the hive will just grow. Since all that aliens have to do is defend it long enough for the hive to grow up and spawn some eggs. And I get and they never cancel leap, actually also a big mistake by them. As you pointed yeah. out. Yeah, here we go, cargo being claimed again now. But I think Marine Commander will scan it mm. quite soon. They probably would have loved to drop it way earlier, problem is they could not because they they were lacking those twenty five resources they used for leap. Whoa, Enmu! What what a nice kill there. Are they still doing some good jobs in those one v one and even two v two engagements? So as I've said earlier, skill level are pretty even on both teams. It's really the strategies yeah, it's, which it's the decision making. To. Yeah. And yeah, here we go. Cargo is being scanned, so Marines are aware, and I think we might see a. Base gate in Y junction quite soon as well as one is about to finish. We do see some res budding out of aliens, but it's not that painful for Marines. Oh poor Sheems. Was just trapped. <laughs> yeah, in overlook went. So Marines sitting on seven extractors. Weapon one's on the way, they do have this face kit in double. The capping sub could drop a face kit there. Well oh, they're actually doing that. And well from there they can now keep pushing cargo again, since they don't need to cap. And as long as they keep the pressure up, the aliens can't really afford to respite. And we just got updated in the chat that uh, it looks like HBZ is playing at twenty one CET, so just one hour delayed. Which it could mean we can we could cast oh we will most likely be able to cast the Arcadia game and the HPZ game after that. Or the Cool versus the, the Mint versus Cool Clan game and then whatever time is left on HPZ. I'm, but yeah, we'll figure that out later. We are still on this match. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let, let me check when... Uh... <coughs> and there we go, big push here coming by the Marines into cargo. Three Marines, this time weapon one, weapon two on the way, so more stronger than it was at the start. But aliens do have leap this time. Yeah, but we see weapons too. About to finish in, I think. In so actually, leap about might a minute. Uh, actually, but leap might be wow. paying off this time. Yeah, very nice cleanup there. I think not even one alien died there. <laughs> wow. And they killed all reeds. Okay, but and, wow. No, no face yet in Y junction. So it looks like Marines got a little. Uh, over aggressive there, probably too fond of themselves. Yeah, but they need to deal some damage now. They're down to one or two harvesters in cargo just being dropped right now. Um, but they cannot let aliens, uh, the marines, sit on seven extractors now. They have exactly. to deal the damage. Yeah, and here we go. Advanced army being finished, weapons 2 about to go online. Subsector being claimed, so yeah. Yeah, here we go. Protolab dropped as well, so jetpacks wow. are very likely. 
Wow, this will be a 12 minute jetpack push against no wow. fate against not even upgrades because the, uh, the aliens they're s lacking so much resources look at the P-Res situation the highest amount we have at the 10 minute mark is 30 this is how bad the situation is for them how broken yeah. the eco economy is compared to marines especially and yeah, that's that's the hard thing about pipeline it's so hard to, to cap resources as alien from pipeline yeah so you really need that uh, second hive to grow to go up as fast as even possible and from there on get map, uh, map dominance with a leap. Yeah, and that's why I've seen many teams after when when you just start with pipeline, drop cargo and lose the hive right at the start. I've seen many teams who just type instantly GG because they know it's almost no point in keep playing. But um B Baltimore friends is trying their best in this. Yeah, very nice play by Sheems being annoying on the left side of the map constantly. And we see flamethrowers being researched. Well, that's interesting. Probably they want to do some kind of fireworks. <laughs> yeah. Well, rush a hive with that, like jetpack flamethrower yeah. rush. They do have the resources, so they can afford it easily. Look at the PRS from the Marines. Yeah. Maybe they want to do a little barbecue, get some hive bacon done. <laughs> oh. But they really don't want to lose. The pace gate in Nanogrid if they want to do this kind of push. And here we go. Green Marines phasing in. The aliens almost lost pipe to due to no infestation, but this time we saw your in time reacting dropping the system. <laughs> wow. It's so low, 5%. <laughs> yes. So Where's the jetpacks? We have the Proto, we need 25 team rest, now he can start the jetpacks if he wants to. Weapon 3 is on the way, and there we and go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. And just look at the total resources. Oh. Are more than, have more than 3 times the amount of rest. Yeah, this is to. ridiculous amount for them. And I really like the decision about them getting 2 lurks up instead of waiting for fades because by then with the fades the game is already over the now. They need to deal more damage, a little bit more risky strat here. Getting two lurks in the field, but they need it. Yeah, exactly. They pretty much have to go all in it at this point. And they need superior team play now to pull yeah. it off. Now, what could help them a lot is like take down the CC in subsector before the jetpacks are finished. I think they're trying to play off subsector, but Nimoy almost yeah. went down there, as means do have oh. weapon two shotguns. Yeah. There's and also some nice mad packs coming up by Targ as well. So nice defense coming up for Marines and Subsector. They will ensure they have jetpacks pretty soonish. There's not much aliens can do. They're sitting on three harvesters now as they redrop Z12. But they will just get jetpacks, fly into cargo and kill off this hive. Yeah. And, and with those two PGs in both crucial locations for Marines. I uh, I don't see aliens dealing any any real damage. Yeah, here we go. Jetpacks finished. Grenade launchers completed. And base so rush on the way. Yeah, they did cancel flamethrowers to go for grenade launchers. Base rush commencing. Three skulks. The guy from Topo did not follow as well. Lurk. Actually, five aliens here. Now we see the beacon. Oh, there we go. Nice decision by Topo for the advanced army. Managed to take that down and would delay rain push by quite some time, as it's pretty expensive. While well, the problem is the proto is still up, they can get all the jetpacks now. Since they got beacon back, they, everyone can afford a jetpack, and are they getting it? No one's going to the proto. No. Oh, one! Oh. Pumpu. So, one jetpack. So, be water, my friends. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, here we go. They they all now looks like they are oh we even see team rest jetpacks. This is how far ahead Marines are at this point. <laughs> yeah. Resources. Uh, even though they're now about to lose the fifth extractor, it doesn't really matter at this point in the game. Yeah, they get so much rest. They they even researching flamethrowers, and should be able to start armor three right away. And that's it. You basically. Almost done by that point, considering uh, marine tech. 
Well, no. there are a few things you could get, but you won't well, need them. Yeah, but you don't need them. <laughs> All, everything you need is like have some jetpackers fly into cargo and shoot down the hive. And they're about to get fully upgraded. Weapon two, uh, armor two is almost finished, and they could save up now for the last armor upgrade from here. Which is 25, if I remember correctly. I think it's 30. Wasn't it 15, 20, 25? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm they changed it at, like, in the latest battle. Oh, nice job here by two skulks. Um, forcing out a beacon. Delaying any pushes. But <laughs> since they're still a face getting double, they can f just face there. And now they should really push double. And. I mean, really push cargo. Yeah, this cargo is still only down to 60% health. I'm not quite sure if it got healed up at all, so yeah. No, it looks like they're either going just to kill off any resources for the no. enemy team, they're trying to or maybe push pipeline. Yeah, they will get the, the harvester with 5% health now, with the 3 assist drop, <laughs> or 2 assist. Oh, come on, that's one shot and the harvester is down. They're going for pipeline hive, okay? No oh, killing of the uh, carapace shell. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, this is this is quite painful. I didn't yeah, no, see I think that they, coming. They really want to get rid of pipeline before killing of cargo, as pipeline is way more annoying to take down. Wow, and even killing of the spur pipeline. Well, there's not much here for enemies to come up. A big wave spawn coming in there, but they're all dying to those shotgunners. Well, <laughs> look at that. But Those streams, once again, being annoying on the other side of the map subsector, they should be able to kill off the power. Yeah, there's still two marines, should be somewhere in the map. There's Mafu, he's going for sub saving that. Oh, yeah, here we go. Incoming from two sides, so. Yeah, it was a nice off effort there by Sheems, but in the end, didn't help too much. Oh, he escaped! Wow! What? <laughs> nice dodging there. But well, it doesn't really matter since we still have the three shotgunners with jetpacks and weapon three and armor two and armor three on the way, dealing so much damage here against vanilla leap skulks. Yeah, those poor skulks. Just just being tossed into the meat grinder of marine shotguns. And here we go, pipeline down. I just realized only one shot in the house. I could have done this like two minutes ago. There we go. <laughs> GG. Never mind. Yeah, GG being called by B Water. So, really nice game so far, and it all come down, I think we all agree on that, on this early push to cargo. If, if you lose the cargo hive, if you all bang to this fast second hive and instantly lose that, that is almost spelling a GG right there. They tried their best to fight back into the game, but in the end, we just did not give them an opening. So, nice to see a marine win coming here, on the map, and as to Vale.